Alright Zach, in this video I'm going to compare you to Greg Maddox and talk about the things that you do really well as a pitcher. And I got to say, I'm really excited because you do some things that a lot of pitchers can't do. And namely, one of the things is separating your hips from your shoulders. And I'll explain what that means in a second. But I picked Greg Maddox for a couple of reasons. The first reason I picked Maddox is because both of you guys are athletic, thin, strong pitchers. All right. The second reason why I picked Maddox as your comparison is because you'll see here when you guys both get to release point, both of you have very similar arm angles from wrist to elbow and elbow to shoulder. You can see here that the angle of your release point is very similar. And so I like to compare pitchers, pro pitchers to young pitchers based on their release point and their arm angle because that's something that we never change with our pitching delivery is the angle at which we release the ball. Okay, so with that in mind, I want to highlight one thing that you do extremely well as a pitcher that most guys your age, most guys at 18, can't do. And the concept is called shoulder hip separation. And so what we're going to look at is we're going to take Greg Maddox back to the beginning of his delivery, and we're going to take you back to the beginning of your delivery. And let's watch Maddox here as he separates his hands and drives forward to home plate. And I want you to notice as his front foot here plants into the ground. As you can see right here, the front foot plants. When that happens, he's really good at opening up his hips but keeping his shoulders closed. You'll see here, as I draw a green line, you can see those hips are starting to open up. And he gets that belly button starting to point towards home plate. Meanwhile, his shoulders stay closed, and he hasn't delivered that back shoulder. And what that's going to do is that's going to create a lot of torque in this upper half and create a lot of power and explosion. So when he goes forward to release, he's got a lot of body power into it. And you'll see you're very similar. And again, I want to point out, most young guys can't do this. But when you get your front foot planted right there, as you can see here, front foot is down, take a look at your hips. You'll see your belly button has started to point towards home plate, and you've got these hips opened up. But meanwhile, you do a really nice job keeping these shoulders closed. And like I said before, that's a very difficult thing to do. It takes flexibility, it takes athleticism, it takes patience. And, and just basically natural athletic throwing ability. And you'll see as a result of that, you're going to get a lot of explosion with your upper half into your release point. So that's a huge strength to build off of. In the next video and the videos to come, we're going to talk about how you can enhance your pitching delivery so that you can have a more effective, free and easy pitching delivery.